Hello friends, today we are going to calculate the deflection at C and C of given cantilever beam which is loaded partially with the UDL and point load at the starting of UDL using the caustic Diano's theorem. Now we know that at the location of C we have to calculate the deflection and at that location there must be a arbitrary load as a P which is 0 in absence of load at location C. So, in this calculation we have two segment A to B having the length 2 meter and B to C having the length 3 meter. So, let us going for the sectional part of segment for first segment B to C the distance is X load of UDL is 30 kilo Newton per meter and arbitrary load as a P kilo Newton. For A to B segment our distance is X meter from location B and the rest value is 3 meter and loaded as shown in the figure. Now, let us going for the calculation of table using the caustic Diano's theorem. We will have for segment B to C, our origin is C, limit of B to C segment is 3 meter as given in the beam, moment of inertia is constant as it is not given in the beam. Now, moment at this location or we can say that the moment at x, we have clockwise moment as a p into x and for UDL it is load into distance into distance by 2. So, it is minus p x minus 30 into x into x by 2 and partial derivation for the deflection we have it taken as a del m x by del p. So, del mx by del p minus px is minus x and 30 x square by 2 as a 0. So, for B to C segment our moment is minus px minus 15 x square and partial derivation is minus x. For A to B span if we take the moment at section and for the point load it is origin as a B, limit of this section is 2 meter, moment of inertia is I, for point load it is minus P into distance of load from the section is X plus 3. So, it is X plus 3. For UDL, the total load is load into distance. So, it is minus 30 into 3 into 3 by 2 but it is from the B, but we have to take the distance from the section. So, it is x plus 3 by 2. So, it is x plus 3 by 2 for the UDL and for 60 kN load it is minus 60 into distance as a x. Now, del mx by del p for minus p into x plus 3 it is minus x plus 3 and rest of the term there is not exist any arbitrary load as a p hence it is 0. Now, going ahead for the calculation of deflection using this tabular form as we have the delta according to the Castiglianos theorem which is 1 by E i integration of 0 to L m x into del m x by del p into d x and we have two segments. So, according to superposition theorem it is del b c plus del a b. So, focusing on the first B to C span 1 by E i is constant limit is 0 to 3 and m x into del m x by del p. So, our value is minus p x minus 15 x square into minus x d x. So, our value is 1 by E i integration of 0 to 3 into p x into x p x square minus 15 x square minus x plus 15 x cube into dx. So, solving this term we will have integration of p x square dx which is equal to p x cube by 3 plus 15 into x cube dx as a x raised to 4 by 4. Now, we know that our arbitrary load p is 0 as there is not any point load at location c. So, arbitrary load is 0. So, eliminating this term P, we have 1 by E i 
into 15 3 raised to 4 by 4 and the value is 303.75 by EI as a delta B to C segment. Now going ahead for the calculation of delta AB and first we are going to multiply MX into del MX by del P for easy calculations we have minus P X plus 3 into X plus 3 as a P into X plus 3 whole square minus 30 into 3 as a 90 into X plus 1.5 into x plus 3 and negative so negative negative positive and minus 60x minus x plus 3 as a 60x into x plus 3. Now solving this term we will have p into x square plus 6x plus 9 as a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square plus 90. Now x into x x square 1.5 into x as a 1.5x and x into 3 as a 3x. So, total value is 4.5x plus 1.5 into 3 as a 4.5. Now, raised term is 60 into x into x as a x square plus 3 into x as a 3x. So, we have to integrate this term. Now, delta AB which is equal to 1 by EI integration of 0 to limit segment is 2 meter. Now, we have to integrate this, this value with respect to dx as this value is mx into del mx by del p. So, going ahead for the calculation p is constant and EI is also constant for this wall term. Now, x square integration is x cube by 3, 6x integration is 6x square by 2 plus 9 into x. For rest term, it is 90 as a constant. x square integration is x cube by 3, 4.5 x integration is x square by 2 plus 4.5 constant as a 4.5 into x. And 460, it is 60. X square integration as a x cube by 3 plus 3x integration as a 3x square by 2. And the limit is 0 to 2 meter. Now we know that our arbitrary load is 0. Hence the term with multiplication of P is totally eliminated from the calculation. And the rest value is 90 is constant into now, solving this limit, we have upper limit as a 2. Hence, instead of x, we have to put the value as a 2. So, 2 cube by 3 plus 4.5 into 2 square by 2 plus 4.5 into 2. And the rest term is 60 into 2 cube by 3 plus 3 into 2 square by 2. Now, solving this term, we have delta AB which is equal to 2380 by EI. Now we know that our total delta is delta AB plus delta BC. Now del AB is 2380, del BC is 303.75 by EI. Hence our total value is so our deflection at location C is. 2683.75 by EI of given beam using the Castigliano's theorem. Thank you.